Sports, fitness, health, all of that is a huge component of my life. It's what I do. It's, it's kind of a central figure of everything I do because from that comes everything else. Dance, yoga, and surfing are just some of the health and fitness activities practiced and enjoyed by performer actress Nia Peoples. This is where it gets embarrassing. <laughs> Given the opportunity of a lesson with Tim Galway, so, Nia agrees to take on the game of tennis. Early, late, don't know. Uh. Watch Nia's level of performance improve at a remarkable pace with each inner game technique that she learns. Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned to improve your tennis game with Tennis the Inner Game. Explore new worlds and new ideas through programs like this. Made available for everyone through contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. As a boy, Tim Galway was a nationally ranked tennis player in his division and later captained his Harvard University team. His seminal book, The Inner Game of Tennis, created a revolutionary way of learning that can be applied to all fields of sports. Many regard Tim's work as having paved the foundation of sports psychology. Tim teaches players of all levels how to conquer the inner game first, the one that goes on in the mind and is often the stumbling block to success. Critics have hailed Tim's inner game techniques as some of the most highly regarded and proven self-help tools ever created. Have you ever done something extraordinary and then wondered why you couldn't repeat it? Well, according to the inner game, we all have much more potential than we realize. It also says that we interfere with that potential much more than we'd like to admit. The inner game is about increasing the expression of our potential while decreasing the self-interference. The inner game is a game that takes place in your head and in your heart. It's all the internal obstacles that take place within a person and your trust in your own potential. So it's overcoming fear, doubt, lapses in concentration and accessing your potential to perform in any given arena. Someone said you should read The Inner Game of Tennis because it's really about accessing what we already know or what is already there, what our bodies and our minds are aware of without our even trying to learn something. I think we're so incredibly powerful if we just allow ourselves to be. And so I'm really excited about today because I know nothing about tennis. Did you ever take a tennis lesson? No. Good. Well, so you don't have to forget that. Yeah. You get to forget everything you think you know about tennis. Okay. We're going to start from the beginning, and then it's all going to be about natural learning. I'll give you some focuses for your attention, then you just let the body do what it can do. Okay. This is going to be learning like when you learn to climb a tree or run. You didn't have to think about it. And we're just going to play around with a ball, bouncing them. Say hit the moment the ball hits the racket. When it hits the racket, okay. Hit, 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 hit. hit. Perfect. Do the same thing. This is where it gets embarrassing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, I'm just kidding. Okay. We're playing. Hit, we're not doing hit, good. Hit, 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 hit. Okay. Hit. Not so hard. And some of these. Do I say hit again? No, but just notice where the ball hits on the racket. Okay. Look at me. Look at you. I'm traveling. Okay, and now just play. Okay, now we're going to play some hockey. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay, that's good. Fun? Yes. Good. <laughs> We're just playing tennis. Do you know what you're supposed to do with your feet when you play tennis? Nope. 
they were doing perfectly. Okay. Yeah, they were, what I was told to do in my first lesson, and it took about six weeks to learn. Oh. You were turning sideways, stepping, I won't tell you. Yeah, don't. So you, <laughs> you, yeah, all over. <laughs> you were doing fine. Okay. Every outer game is different. Tennis is different than football, is different than making a million dollars in the bank. But what's the same is our patterns of interference. We take them with us wherever we go. So if you can find techniques or methods for reducing the interference and heightening the focus of attention, then you've got something you can use in any outer game you want. So when the ball bounces, I want you to say the word bounce. Okay. And the minute it hits, say hit. Okay. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Okay. So now you're gonna stand here where I was. He's gonna hit some balls to you. You're not gonna swing, you're just gonna give your brain a chance to see different balls coming toward you. Okay, so I'm just watching the ball. Watching it and saying bounce when it bounces okay. and hit when you would hit it. Oh. If you were gonna hit it, just hit without when you moving? would. Without moving? Without okay. moving. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Okay, you've seen enough balls for your brain to get educated. Now, whenever you feel like swinging, go ahead and swing. Okay. Keep on the bounce hit. Okay. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Take a rest. So, were you on time? Early, late, don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Find out. Okay. If it's early on hit, late on hit, early on bounce, late on bounce. When I say it? As yeah. Opposed, okay. Yeah. Bounce, hit. The tennis technique, hit. bounce, hit, focuses your bounce, attention hit. on four important positions of the ball. When your opponent bounce, hits hit. it, when it lands on your side of the court, when you hit, hit it, and then where it lands bounce. on the other side of the court. So you hit. pay attention to the bounce, bounce hit, hit, and you get bounce, so absorbed hit. in the rhythm bounce, and the cadence bounce, of the bounce hit. hit that you forget to worry about your shot. I want you to hit forehands and backhands and make it a little more difficult, a little harder. <laughs> it's not harder to say bounce hit. Your job is just say bounce when the ball bounces. Okay. Hit when it hits the racket or goes by. Okay. Okay? Only that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bounce. Hit. 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 Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Were you on time? I don't know. You were. Okay. <laughs> you were really focused. I was focused. I, whether I was on time or not, I don't know. Well, your hits were on hit and your bounces were on bounce. Okay. So that shows me you were focused. We're going to do another exercise. And this time, instead of just watching the ball when it bounces and hits the racket, you're gonna watch the entire trajectory of the ball. The shape, not the ball's little round thing, but the shape of the, of the, of the, arc. Of the arc of the ball. After it hits, when it bounces, as it comes up, okay. it'll draw a line in space. And you just appreciate the line. Okay. See if you can see something interesting or even beautiful about the line. Ooh. 
Ooh, almost. Last one. Okay. So, you're smiling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did you find interesting in the ark? You could notice the thread, I don't know if you call them threads. The seams. The seams. Spinning. Yeah, you'd really see how they'd show up sometimes. And right. You could see them more than other times. Right. You really got even more absorbed mm -hmm. than in Bounce Head. Yeah. She's going to uh, just watch the height of her ball over the net. So just over the net would be a plus one, plus two, another foot, plus three, plus four. You just call out the number okay. of the height of the ball. Okay. And there's no right answer here. Okay. Just observing the height. Oh, 10. 10. <laughs> <laughs> Two. One. Our first objective was that she enjoy the natural learning process. Two. And you could see her eyes One. move from trying to get the ball in the court Three. and being a little stiff about it, Two. letting the body go. Her feet, which were very Five. active before, Two. slowed down and were economic. One. Five. And then her power just came naturally. He had me focus, and when I would focus, I was fully present there, so it's like I would just allow. It was really more about allowing, and you would get into that rhythm and of just allowing it to occur. It was pretty amazing. It was pretty, pretty amazing. Have you ever thrown a ball? A baseball or something? Mm -hmm. Sure. And let's throw a ball to each other. Oh. That's all there is to it. So just throw the racket at the ball. Have a good but time. But hold on to it. Sure. <laughs> hold on to the handle. OK, I'm just going to try to get it over the net. Oh. Don't try to get it over the net this time. OK. Don't try. Just, just hit it. Just hit it. Well, what do you know? What do you know? <laughs> it went over anyway. What do you think? Okay, great. So I'm going to serve a few. I'm going to say the words da da da. Da da da. Yeah. Okay. Da da da. Okay. And you just count the rhythm. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Okay. Okay. Shut your eyes. Imagine yourself serving and say da 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 as you see yourself serving. Okay. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Good. Okay. Don't think. Okay. Don't think. Just go and do da da da. Da da da. 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 There you go. Da da da. 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 Like that. Got it. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a big difference. <laughs> that was a big difference. Yeah. Tim's amazing. He's so gentle and. It was wonderful, but you know, it wasn't like, um, there was no instructing going on. There was nothing technical. He didn't tell me any, I can't give you any terms because I didn't get any terms. Each inner game technique focuses the mind's attention on some specific action. And that accomplishes two things. It gives increased feedback and at the same time, reduces self-interference. And in that way, the person gains more self-confidence and 
feels they can apply that to anything. Okay, you ready to play me a game? Oh. <laughs> No? Yeah. Do I have to play your game? Sure. Oh, okay. Oh! You're gonna serve. game of tennis is is applicable to much more than tennis it's applicable to everything in life as far as i'm concerned and not just physical things either i know that when i'm in the zone creating music or writing or anything my best self comes forth when i let it and i get my hands off of it and it just happens. And that's what we were doing with the inner game of tennis. Oh! oh good rally. You win. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two. One. Three. One, three, two, five, one, five, five. Did you ever take a tennis lesson? No. Good. Well, so you don't have to forget that. <laughs> you get to forget everything you think you know about tennis. Okay. We're going to start from the beginning, and then it's all going to be about natural learning. I'll give you some focuses for your attention, then you just let the body do what it can do. Okay. This is going to be learning like when you learn to climb a tree or run. You didn't have to think about it. And we're just going to play around with a ball. Bouncing them, say hit the moment the ball hits the rocket. When it hits the rocket, okay. Hit, 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 hit. hit. Perfect, do the same thing. This is where it gets embarrassing. <laughs> no, 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 just, I'm just kidding, okay. We're playing, hit, we're not doing hit, good. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, hit. not so hard, and some of these. Do I say hit again? No, but just notice where the ball hits on the rocket. Okay. Look at me. Look at you. <laughs> I'm traveling. Okay, and now just play. Okay, now we're gonna play some hockey. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay, that's good. Fun? Yes. Good. <laughs> We're just playing tennis. Do you know what you're supposed to do with your feet when you play tennis? Nope. They were doing perfectly. Okay. Yeah, they're what I was told to do in my first lesson, and it took about six weeks to learn. Oh. You were turning sideways, stepping. I won't tell you. Yeah, don't. So you <laughs> you, tell me all over. you were doing fine. Okay. So when the ball 
bounces, I want you to say the word bounce. Okay. And the minute it hits, say hit. Okay. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Okay. So now you're going to stand here where I was. He's going to hit some balls to you. You're not going to swing. You're just going to give your brain a chance to see different balls coming toward you. Okay, so I'm just watching the ball. Watching it and saying bounce when it bounces okay. and hit when you would hit it. Oh. If you were going to hit it, just hit without when you moving? would. Without moving? Without okay. moving. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Okay, you've seen enough balls for your brain to get educated. Now, whenever you feel like swinging, go ahead and swing. Okay. Keep on the bounce, hit. Okay. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Take a rest. So, were you on time? Early, late, don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Mm -mm. Find out. Okay. If it's early on hit, late on hit, early on bounce, late on bounce. When I say it? As yeah. Opposed, okay. Yeah. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Try some over there. Bounce, hit. 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 Okay, good. Tired? No. Good. I'm okay. Um, how was that? Good. Got focused? Yes. Let me ask you a question. How much were you playing bounce hit? And how much were you trying to hit the ball over? Percentage was? I would say that 85% of the time I was bounce hit. Right. And the rest of it was Trying did to get I get it over there? Did I get it over there? <laughs> right. Okay. So you're running out of balls. Let's pick up a few, and we're going to try to go 100% bounce hit. Okay. No concern about where the ball goes. Gotcha. Okay. Get ready to run. <laughs> Can you jump fences and stuff? <laughs> I'm just checking. Bounce hit. Bounce hit. Bounce hit. Bounce hit. Bounce, hit, 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 oops, hit. Bounce. You got the oops first. Oops. I got the oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oops wasn't a part of the vocabulary. Bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Bounce, hit. Hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, bounce, hit, 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 hit, bounce, Hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit. Okay, perfect. Um, I want you to hit forehands and backhands. 
and make it a little more difficult, a little harder. It's not harder to say bounce hit. Your job is just say bounce when the ball bounces. Okay. Hit when it hits the racket or goes by. Okay. Okay? Only that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit. Hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce. Hit. Bounce. Lunch. Bounce. Hit. Whoa. Hit. Bounce. Hit. Bounce. Hit. Bounce. Hit. Hit. One more. Bounce. Hit. Bounce. Hit. Bounce. Hit. Hit. Bounce. Hit. Bounce. Hit. Bounce. Hit. Bounce. Hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit. Okay, very nice. <laughs> very nice. How come you don't look tired? Mm. I'm not. <laughs> he is tired. <laughs> were you on time? I don't know. You were. Okay. <laughs> you were really focused. And I was focused. I, whether I was on time or not, I don't know. Well, your hits were on hit and your bounces were on bounce. Okay. So that shows me you were focused. Uh, let's sit down, okay. take a little break, and then we'll start something new. Okay. We're going to do another exercise. And this time, instead of just watching the ball when it bounces and hits the racket, you're going to watch the entire trajectory of the ball. The shape, not the ball's little round thing, but the shape of the of the, of, the of the arc of the ball. After it hits, when it bounces, as it comes up, okay. it'll draw a line in space. And you just appreciate the line. Okay. See if you can see something interesting or even beautiful about the line. Last one. Okay. So, you're smiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you find interesting in the arc? You could notice the thread, I don't know if you call them threads. The seams. The seams. Spinning. Yeah. You'd really see how they'd show up sometimes. And right. You could see them more than other times. Maybe. Right. You really got even more absorbed mm -hmm. than in Bounce Hit. Yeah. She's going to, uh, just watch the height of her ball over the net. So just over the net would be a plus one, plus two, another foot, plus three, plus four. You just call out the number okay. of the height of the ball. Okay. And there's no right answer here. Okay. Just observing the height. Oh, 10. 10. <laughs> <laughs> two. One, three, two, five, two, fifteen, <laughs> three, three, 
10. <laughs> Five. Under. One more. One. Five. Five. Ah! Five. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That counts. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> So, a lot of, uh, what did you notice? A lot of difference. <laughs> yep. But there was a while where you just got into the one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And that it didn't have to be one, but it, it was, was getting, yes. if we kept doing that, you'd, uh, the body would learn how to put it. In the one. That, well, one or maybe three, because threes go deeper into the court. He started hitting some of those pretty hard. <laughs> it's all his fault. <laughs> okay. So now you're going to watch where the ball bounces. Okay. Okay. Not so much the height, but where the ball is when it bounces on his side of the court. Okay. Okay. Don't try to control that. Just notice where it bounces. Just notice where it bounces. Okay. Back up a little. Good, very good. My fun. Yeah. <laughs> it consumes more of your your focus. Yeah. And I found myself um, focusing on my bounce. <laughs> right. And when I would do that, it would go over. Right. And then focusing on his. Right. It was just, it was great. You, I, I hope they got pictures of your eyes because they were like, <laughs> they were like a, a cat in front of a mouse hole. You know? I see it, not because I'm forcing myself. Because oh, my body felt more relaxed. It too. moved more relaxed, yeah. and technically your footwork got better. So a lot of good, a lot of learning was happening while you were busy watching where the ball bounced. Right. I actually noticed in my um. Maybe I wasn't supposed to be noticing this, <laughs> but in my breathing pattern. Yeah. Because in the back of my mind, I can kind of hear my breath and I can feel my feet doing right, this. Right. But it felt like they really sort of slowed down. They did. And it felt like I had more time. That's, that's the nature of focus. You seem like you have more time. You get there more easily. You're not panting. Right. Time slows down. I felt that. <laughs> We're going to switch from ball awareness. OK? 
okay, what you've been doing and focus on body awareness. Okay. So that'll be racket and body. Okay. And when we start, I just want you to be aware of your body. Uh, is there a particular swing you'd like to improve, forehand or backhand? They both need help. They both need I help. Don't know. I don't, yeah. So do you have a preference what you'd like to go with? Um, you know, let's work with the backhand because backhand? it's more difficult for me. Okay. And um, take a few swings right here okay. with the backhand. The only instruction is to be aware of how it feels, not to do it right. Okay. For example, just raise your left hand. Now lower it. Now be aware of your left hand rising. Okay. And be aware of it falling. Okay. Okay. Now you can do that faster, but be aware of it. Right. Okay. That's body awareness. Okay. Okay. So same thing with the back hand. Just take a shot and feel. Do you do it with one hand or two hands? Both. Both. Sometimes I throw the leg in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's right or wrong, so I just okay. do whatever. That's fine, but the whole point is just to feel it. Okay. A few more where you're just feeling it. You can feel the height of the racket at the back. How high is this? Okay. About. Feels like it's at my shoulders back there. It's here. about at your okay. shoulders. Okay, and where is it following through? Right at my other about shoulder. About at your shoulder. Okay. So now I'm going to toss some to her. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, ask you to be aware of your body while you're swinging. Okay. And the next question I'm going to ask you is, what part of your body or your swing were you pain, were you noticing the most? Okay. What stood out? Okay. Stand back just a little bit by the line. The front. So what part did you notice? At first it was it was the back and then the front, and then the okay. last time through it was... So the here. follow through and where it was on the back swing? Yes. So which of those was most interesting to you? The front, the follow through. The follow through. Okay, so just notice where the racket follows through. Let it go where it wants. Notice any difference happening in your swing? Uh, yes. The, it's the tilt of the racket. Tilts the racket after you hit it? Yeah. Anything? Uh, and sometimes uh, where, it, where the swing was sort of where the follow through was, whether it was following all the way through here right. or here. So do you have an idea where it should be? Good, so don't okay. <laughs> get rid of the unconscious idea of where, you, where it should be and let it go where it wants. And just notice if that turning is happening. Oh! He's fast. Now notice the other one, where the racket is at the back. Okay. And if it's shoulder, say shoulder, chest, say chest, okay. waist, waist. Shoulder. Shoulder. Don't try. That's waist. It. Waist, right? Mm-hmm. 
Don't try. Waist. A little below the waist. Hip. 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 So show me about where it is at the back. All the way at the back. Yeah, right. Very different than where it was before. Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't do anything to try to make that happen. Naturally started coming down. Why? Because it feels better and it works better. That's why natural learning works. Okay. It feels okay. good to come down and it works better. Gave you more solid. Good. Now, uh, listen to the sound of the ball okay. on the racket. What did you feel that time? That, that there were different sounds? Yeah. Depending on where I hit it or where it hit the racket, I suppose. Okay. Just be aware of the body. What can you feel? Yep. What can you feel? Yes. What were you most aware of? Two things. Um, well, kind of three. How, where, it, how far back it came, and, right. and where it was <clears throat> the connection to the ball and the follow through. Okay, those are the three key elements of a swing. I could have taught them to you, but you were naturally aware <laughs> of them. Interesting. So let's pick one of them. Let's start with the one at the back. Okay. How far back is it going? Okay. Just become aware of this wing at the back. What did you notice about the back swing? Um, that it was just behind my hip, not too far back, but just. Okay, behind. you're missing part of it because it is going back. But it's low. It's it's at my hip. It's not up here. Yeah, it's going lower, and it's also pointing to the back wall. Oh, further. it is going back that far. It is going back oh, further. Okay. Just check it out and see. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That blind spot was caused right. because that's when you were looking at the ball and you left the racket. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's right. Mm. <laughs> okay. Take a little break. <laughs> That's amazing. It's more. Uh, That's really amazing. It's looking so much. Yeah, you lose it. Completely. Yeah. And then I was focusing on the bounce of the ball. Right. Right. A lot of excellent players don't know where their racket is at the back because it's all feel. Right. And they can't. They can't see it. Um, 
I'm going to whisper an instruction to you. Okay. So the camera can't hear. Um, pretend you're a cocky tennis professional. Okay. 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 Doesn't matter where the ball goes, we're just going to be focused on you. All right. Okay. Are it's you okay? okay? It's okay. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> I cocky. killed a master. Pretty cocky. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm Don't worry about me. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> we we rattled your attention. <laughs> you did. <clears throat> I'll I'll pass them from over here. You can hit him over there. I told you. Okay. Get in this space, same space you were in. Just showing off. That's right, showing off. No, you won't. Give you a dollar if you hit me. <laughs> there it is. Right about like that. About that level. You're showing off your technical prowess, not just your strength. That's it. That's it. How's it looking, Kelly? Good. She's looking pretty good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fun? You okay? <laughs> I'm okay. You just corrected my voice. It's more clear now. I snapped you out of puberty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, do you know what spin is? I know what it is. Mm -hmm. And I want you to learn about spin. And I'll just uh, keep your hand on the racket. When it hits like this, it's called top spin. Oh. Well, oh, sorry, keep my hand on the racket. Keep your hand on. Okay. That's top spin. Okay. And when it hits like this, it's underspin. So basically when the ball goes like that, it's underspin. Okay. When it goes like that, it's top spin. So what I noticed when you were swinging this way, wait, I'm not gonna say it, do it again. <laughs> telling you too much, so don't worry about trying to get a certain spin. Okay. Back up a little bit. And if it's a little bit of top spin, say plus one or plus two. Okay. If it's a lot of top spin, three or four. Okay? Okay. I kind of don't know how to judge that. You I will. I don't know what a lot is or what a little you is. You will. A little. How much? Little. Little. One. Yeah. How much? One. One, two. One. You can actually feel it on the racket. Two. 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 So those are two top spins. 
It's getting a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> My red shirt. Okay. So you've gone from one to two? Mm-hmm. One. One. Two. Two. Can you kind of feel it? The, yeah, the I can feel it kind of roll ball. a little. There. That's really there. Yep. That was a three. 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 That was a three or a four. Two. One. One. <laughs> that was a three or three. four. Three. That's good. So you can feel that now. Yep. Let's try for a five. Like that. Now, this top spin makes the ball come down. Gotcha. So you can hit it high over the net, and it'll still come down into the court. OK. That way you can hit them hard without them going out, because the spin naturally brings them down. Uh, gotcha. Try to hit this one out. Oh, sorry. You can hit it out. Can't hit it out. <laughs> there you go. Try to hit it out again. Uh. <laughs> Not by changing your stroke, just by Hitting it. Oh! Look at that. See that? Yep. <laughs> it's embarrassing. That took me six months to learn. <laughs> Very embarrassing. Wow. <laughs> See what you can feel on the backhand. OK. Is that the right under, right? Yeah, that was under. It's That's spinning. Under. <laughs> Do okay. it without the ball and see if you can put top spin on it. Ah, under. Oh, top spin? Yeah. Sorry, I thought that's OK. OK. Right? Go ahead. Okay, so. Yeah. Try it again. Now you can hit it high. Gotcha. Oh, do I have to hit the ball? <laughs> How's it looking, Kelly? Yeah, it's getting better. It's great. Now we'll do um, back at the bass line and both sides. Okay. And just try to don't try to put the spin on. Okay. That's right. Just notice. What spin is there? Oh. All right. Just feel it. There you go. I can feel you feeling that. <laughs> I'm getting, getting used to you. <laughs> you don't want any more children, do you? <laughs> Okay. Lift it up. There you go. There you go, yeah. Now 
Notice where your racket is at the back now? Yes. Where? It's back. <laughs> it's back. Did I notice? What's the level? It's lower. It's lower and it seems higher on the follow through, like the yeah. elbow or something? Uh, don't worry about okay. that. <laughs> Just notice the level. Uh, it's going to be in the doll. Give it a lift. So now just be aware of the degree your knees are bending. Okay. Don't try to bend them too much. Okay. Or too little. Just notice your knees. That's better feel. When I stop shuffling around, I'm all good. Yeah. <laughs> it's the extra. <laughs> Those are good. Back up. Perfect. Great. A little harder here. Last three or four. Sit. Okay. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> that was great. Uh, so take a look at the court over there from back here. Okay. And imagine where you can hit the ball. Like you can hit it into that corner. Where else can you hit it? No, I, I actually, can I hit it on the outside of these lines? Like, is no. it the very out? See, I don't even know that. No. Okay. You keep them inside these lines. This line here? Yeah, in, in singles. Okay, gotcha. The other is for doubles. So you can just visualize where you can hit it. And now as we walk up, see how that changes. Mm -hmm. You can hit it in more places. And as you get up real near the net, you can hit it almost anywhere. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is called the volley when you hit a ball on the fly. Okay. Okay, when you hit a ball before it bounces, it's called a volley. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to ask you just to hold your racket up. Okay. Just like, yeah, just like that. And I'm, the focusing exercise is to watch the seams of the ball. Okay. I'll just toss them to one hand. Oh. Right? Am I hitting it back or? Yeah, okay. just watch the seams. You can stand a little further back. Okay. the seams. Mm -hmm. Can you tell where the ball is when you lose the seams? I can see it all the way up to the racket. All the way to the racket. Yeah, when it's in front of my face, I can see it on the racket. Right. <laughs> Back up one step. So you sure you've never hit volleys? Hit what? You've never hit these. Hit you've never volleys. hit volleys. Oh, not on purpose. I don't know. <laughs> That? <laughs> that was over there. <laughs> Want to try some over there? Oh, I don't care. Good. 
right? Okay, uh, still see him? Yep. Can you see the shadow? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, Kelly. Yes, sir. Start out medium and then you yeah. can build it up. I'll come keep you company. Okay, you can take a step up now, right there. Right there. Ooh, a little back. Okay, good. Stay in the seams. about hitting. about hitting or missing, just watch those seams. As they come faster, it's harder to see them. And if you want, you just notice the shadow. Exciting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just look. Can't keep you from looking. Nah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, show it off. <laughs> that was tough, spin. Wait, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> so now, a little extra coaching. The ball's a disease. So you want it to spend as little time on your side of the net as possible. Okay. So go after it, clear it away from the net. Okay. Let balls. <laughs> Let balls. Oh, on my own side. Fun. <laughs> Get it. Let it come to you. Go get it. Oh. Okay. That's right. Here you go. I'm sorry. It's almost over. So. That's it. 
up. Don't have to swing. Out. I have expert help. <laughs> we won. Very <laughs> well done. Very well done. Okay. Do you know how fast those were coming? No. <laughs> they were coming were... as fast as in very advanced tennis. Oh. Very advanced. He's number 200 in the world. He was hitting it. Three quarters speed. Coming up behind you. <laughs> and we're going to go back to a little body awareness. The first awareness I want you to pay attention to is balance. Okay. So you'll just be swinging and noticing your balance. You won't be trying to stay on balance. Okay. You'll just be noticing. Notice when you're off balance. Notice when you're on. Okay. Okay. So the instruction to me is just to be aware of your balance, not trying to be on balance, just noticing it. You can notice it right now. Getting the hang of it, aren't you? Yeah. Hardly moved. You just glided <laughs> over there. What are you noticing about balance? That it's centered. Centered? Centered. Now we're going to switch to rhythm. Just be aware of the rhythm of the swing. Don't try to make it rhythmic. Notice the rhythm. Let your body find the rhythm it likes. Okay. <laughs> what are you noticing? Let's do it again, I'll tell you. You feel rhythm? Yes. You like your rhythm or are you? I do. Because it's constantly moving. It feels like um it has a it's almost swinging left and right.
<laughs> Sorry. Knock that one too. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can do both of these whenever you're playing. It's um, really good exercise for when you're in a game, just to be aware of balance, because it puts your awareness on your whole body. Same as rhythm. And tennis is a game of feeling, so you have to feel the rhythm, feel the balance, and your balance will find itself, your rhythm will find itself. Have you ever done any serving? As in a restaurant? No, as in a <laughs> tennis court. I'm sure I've tried. You but... tried. Have you ever thrown a ball? A baseball or something? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. So throw the ball to each other. That's all there is to it. Okay. So just throw the racket at the ball. Have a good But time. hold on to it. Sure. <laughs> hold on to the handle. Okay, I'm just gonna try to get it over the net. Oh. Don't try to get it over the net this time. Okay. Don't try. Just just hit it. Just hit it. So what do you know? <laughs> you know, it went over anyway. What do you think? Okay. Great. So I'm going to serve a few. I'm going to say the words da da da. Da da da. Yeah. Okay. Da da da. Okay. And you just count the rhythm. Da da da. Da da. Da. Da da da. Okay? Okay. Shut your eyes. Imagine yourself serving and say da 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 as you see yourself serving. Okay. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Good. Okay. Don't think. Okay. Don't think, just go and do the da da. Da da da. There you go. Da da da. 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 Da, da, da. What are you trying to do? I don't know. Good. <laughs> Nothing, right? Right. Just da, da, da. Just keep the rhythm. Okay. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Okay, a couple more. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Aren't I doing a good job teaching you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they pay you for this? <laughs> da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. So those are decent serves. Um, I'm going to change your focus. You don't have to say the da da unless you want to. But I want you to notice on the toss, when you hit the ball, is it coming down? Is it still going up? Or is it still? Okay. It has to be one of the two when you make contact. Okay. If I threw it up here, it would obviously be coming down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want me to tell you after each one? Um, at the beginning, yeah. Okay. Da da da. I don't know. Da da da. It was still going up. No? Just about still. Just it about was just hanging right at the. Hanging there. Da da da. Still going up. Da da da. 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 Da da da.
still going up? Yeah. Da, da, da. Up. That was going up. Da, da, da. Just about coming down. Okay. Da, da, da. Just about coming down, hanging. Da, da, hanging. Da, da, hanging. Da, da, down. Oh, that was hanging, actually. Just about okay. to come down. No. Let's get back into that throwing motion. Okay. Okay. Don't think about it. Yeah, you could do a few from here. Okay. If you want it, yeah. Do I say da da? If you want. <laughs> Let's see. Changed yes, it did. When you did that, so it's a big throw from left field. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Like that. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that was a big difference. <laughs> that was a big difference. Yeah. So mess. you said you got a little uh, anxious when you had to hit the ball in a certain place. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah naturally. Of course, because okay. I know I know I can't. Right. <laughs> I cannot choose where to put the ball. So I'm going to tell you not to try to hit that target. Okay. Don't try to hit it. Try not to hit it. No. Don't try to hit it. Don't try to hit it. Okay. But I do want you to know where the ball lands okay. in relationship to the target. Okay. So you can say left two feet, right two feet, over it, eight feet. Okay. okay. So just give me an idea. You can see where the ball bounces. Okay. But don't try to hit it. And just keep throwing the ball, throwing the racket. Uh, past it a foot? I can't even tell how far yeah, that is. On the and to the left. Right. To the left, five feet? Right. Correct. Just past it to the right by a foot? Right. Just past it to the right by two feet. Past it by five feet. Over. No, off to the left. Over, over. it. Over it. Yeah. Okay. Over it, five feet, two feet, three feet, I'm not, boy. Don't, don't try to hit it. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Net. Past it to the left by four feet. Out. To the left, two feet. Out. Net. Take your time. Over it, five feet. Net. That was nice when you took your time. Out. Out. Just in front of it by a foot. Out. Oops. It's okay. You knocked it over. I knocked it over. <laughs> When did you know it was going to hit? Not till it hit it. Not till it hit it. Yeah. Me too. Okay. To the left by a, a foot. To the left by three feet. Out and left by three feet. Left by three feet. Left by a foot. Net. To the right by a foot. Out. Okay. You 
ready to play me a game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. Do I have to play you a game? Sure. Oh, okay. Too good a sir. Oh! Oh, I was in! <laughs> I missed! Long. Now. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh, good rally. You win. <laughs> Thank you.